guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. It is 7.30 a.m. and I am just about to head off to Canada Airport and I'm going to be flying to Tottery today. So I'm going to be spending five days, not just in Tottery, I'm going to go around to the neighboring prefectures and it's a work trip. So there's going to be so much packed in the schedule. I thought that it would be fun to vlog to show you guys what I get up to because it may help you guys plan your trip to Japan as well. I've been to Tottery about four times now and it's actually one of my favorite prefectures. It's so beautiful, so much to do and I feel like it's really underrated. So I have packed my bags, I am going to say goodbye to Hina and we're gonna go. I'm gonna give you a parting snack. Yeah? Oh yeah. You want a cookie? Can you give me a boob? Oh not a boob. Oh wow. Well sorry. Sorry, where'd you go? There you go. I'm sorry. Thank you for those two boobs. My nose is very wet now. Do you want mum to leave? Yes or no? No. I'm so sorry. I I know. I'll see you in five days. in my life I'm actually early <laughs> the taxi driver was driving so quickly he got me here five minutes before the meeting time we missed the flight because we had to take the bus to the terminal we didn't know we were just chilling at the lounge like idiots we're just gonna sit here for a little bit whilst we wait for our boarding group we can't even board yet oh my god yeah um, we didn't know we had to take the bus even though it says clearly in Japanese and English on our security certificate <laughs> whoops <laughs> arrived at the restaurant just gonna grab some early lunch this is so big <laughs> I'm not hungry yeah I'm not really hungry I got some udon they got some ume on top seaweed and the dipping sauce what is kind of cool food this is huge gohan. And gohan. wow <laughs> bro <laughs> so much the sand dune museum and it's freaking awesome guys like i've been to the Tottery sand dunes like three times before but i never knew about this museum so apparently they change countries every couple of months so right now it's egypt
we just climbed up one of these sand dunes. I'm giving up. So unfit. <laughs> but I've been here before and it's so beautiful. We're gonna take a few shots. Five yen. Oh my good luck charm today. Samurai Museum, which is really cool. So you can see here, there's all of these different samurai armors, and it's pretty much like right next to the sand dunes as well. So, oh wow, there's the swords. So we are at the final destination for today, which is actually a children's toy museum, which is really cool. So we were walking around, you can walk through like a Japanese elementary school, take photos in there. They even had a music room, so that was awesome. I got to play the piano even though it's been so long. But we are on the third floor and there's a bunch of like, you know, old school Japanese toys. walking through here. Today I woke up early, I took the taxi to the airport and I actually got there early. Me and Kanako actually got there early. We checked in and then we had some time. 
So I was like, oh, let's go to a lounge and just, you know, try and get some food. We went to the lounge, which was at the other end of the airport, but there was no food in there. Uh, the lounge was like, you know, it's just a really small one and they only had coffee, but that was fine. We had a coffee because we needed it. We only stayed for about five minutes. Then we decided to go to our gate, which we realized we had to take a bus and the bus stop was quite a walk from the lounge. So anyway, we ran down to the bus stop. We got on the bus, which kind of took a long time to leave. And then the bus, you know, was driving really slowly around. And then it ended up like, you know, doing some sort of U-turn to turn around. And I was like, at that point, me and Kanako were like, there's a chance we may not make this flight. And I was trying to be positive and I was like, you know what? I've never missed a flight in my life before. I mean, look, I've missed one in Germany, but that was not my fault. It was because Air Berlin was late and we missed our connecting flight. So I don't count that as missing flights, but I was like, you know what? I've never missed a flight and I'm not missing this one today. So, you know, I was trying to be positive and we ran off the bus, ran up to our gate. It said on our ticket that we had to board by 9 a.m. and it was going to take off at 10 past nine. We got there at 9.05 and I was like, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get on the flight. But when we were on the bus, I saw the plane and I was like, they're still like doing stuff to it. So I feel like we should be okay. Anyway, when we got to the gate, they were still boarding and we couldn't even board yet. So that was fine. We decided to go and like get some food and then we got back and we were still boarding. Um, the flight was delayed, but they didn't say anything. So we were stressed out the whole time for no reason. But also there was a chance of us not even making it to Totori because of the bad weather. So they said, we might have to land in Osaka in Itami airport, or we might have to turn back to Tokyo. But luckily we made it. There was quite a bit of turbulence, but it was fine. I was just playing Pokemon the whole time. But now we are back in the hotel and we have free time until tomorrow. So I'm just going to relax and I'm going to get dinner with Kanako later. So yeah, let's do that. Such a big dinner, start by 7 Eleven. <laughs> now it's raining, <laughs> so we're just trying to find our way back. I am back at the hotel with some goodies from the convini. I had a great dinner of Kanako. We had Taiwanese, though I forgot to vlog because it's been a long day, guys. Unfortunately, today it was so windy, but it was still lovely. Um, I really like this prefecture, I think it's so underrated and it's beautiful. Um, tomorrow, we are actually heading off to another prefecture i believe so yeah this trip is just full on packed with lots of stuff to do uh, but it's exciting because i have not really traveled in a while and i guess i spend most of my time in tokyo so yeah this is a great chance to explore more of japan but anyway guys um i think i am going to go take a shower take my makeup off and sleep early and attempt to wake up early tomorrow luckily we have a later start which is at 9 a.m. but I'm gonna try and wake up earlier so I can get some breakfast you know what I never wake up early but when there's free breakfast at a hotel I'm gonna get up early and have some free food can never say no to that but let me show you guys what I got at the company even though it's not much um, I just got a bottle of water so stay hydrated and then I got up 
a skincare set. I always use this whenever I travel. It's the perfect size. I ran out of the cleansing foam wash, so I just decided to pick up another pack. You can get it anywhere, 7-Eleven, Family Mart, whatever. I like to pack lightly whenever I travel, so these are great for that. And then, of course, my coffee that I'm going to have tomorrow. Even though we do get free coffee at the hotel, I like my bad canned coffee, so this is a must for me. But anyway guys, I am going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next day. Bye guys!